Today we're going to talk about the equations of motion, which is basically a mathematical description of the forces or the accelerations that are imparted upon a flowing fluid. And here we have the full equations of motion for the I-hat, the J-hat, and the K-hat directions. Uh, so for the east-west uh, component of the equation of motion, you have the total derivative of U with respect to time, minus two terms, uh, which I will uh, talk about here in just a second, minus the uh, 1 over rho partial P of partial X, which is the pressure gradient force, and then we have the Coriolis force, and then we have friction, which serves to slow down the flow in the east-west direction. Uh, these other terms, which are new, um, basically we've been talking about uh, the coordinate axis that we've been using is the Cartesian coordinate system, but the problem is, is that on a rotating planet, the Cartesian coordinate axis is actually rotating with the planet. And that uh, imparts an acceleration on the air parcels due to the rotation of the uh, coordinate system itself. Uh, and I'm not going to go into the details of the derivation, uh, but for the east-west direction, uh, the uh, two what we call spherical terms uh, are u, v, tangent uh, latitude over the radius of the earth plus u times w uh, divided by the radius of the earth. So that's the equation of motion in the east-west direction. It is a nonlinear partial differential equation that cannot be solved analytically. It needs to be solved numerically. Uh, and that is why so many atmospheric scientists spend so much time learning how to program computers uh, and to uh, learn numerical methods for solving this type of partial differential equation. We also have the uh, equation for the uh, north-south motion. And once again, it's a total derivative uh, of the uh, V component of the wind uh, with respect to time, plus two of the terms which are responsible for the rotation of the uh, coordinate system itself. We have the pressure gradient force, we have the Coriolis force, and we have friction. In the vertical, uh, we have dW by dt, the total derivative of the vertical velocity with respect to time, a, another term which is responsible, which is uh, due to the uh, rotation of the uh, rotation of the coordinate system as the planet turns. We have the vertical pressure gradient force, partial v over partial z. Uh, this time we have gravity, uh, which is uh, in the downward direction. Uh, and then we have another Coriolis term, and then we have a friction term. This is the equations of motion that will describe a flowing fluid. Uh, these equations uh, are not specific to the uh, Earth's atmosphere. Uh, they are not specific to the atmosphere at all. This is responsible for a flowing fluid. So this would be also uh, representative of the uh, flow, for example, in the ocean as well. <laughs> 